Okay, I'm uh, making these simple dies in order to try to make a Phillips head screwdriver, or at least make that a lot easier. This scrap stock is the right size, but is an unknown quantity. I'm not sure what steel it is. I'll treat it like medium carbon. For some reason, it turns really black after a minute in the forge. Not really sure why. I quench the dies off camera. Just a quick update. You can see that my workspace has been expanded. The planter is now removed on this side. You can see where I've concreted in the floor and then started to waterproof the wall there. And on the other side as well, the planter is gone and I've already concreted the floor in there and I started to waterproof that. It's just hard because I'm working in between the rainy days all the time. So, so far pretty good. I put in a new screen there too so that the neighbor doesn't have any prying eyes looking in on me and slowly moving my plants back up front. I want to give a big shout out to Jerry S. Hodges for his latest donation. Uh, he's really helping to keep the forge fire burning and I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. So I plan to use this bolt to make my Phillips head screwdriver. But first, I'm gonna try this out, this guillotine die set on just a piece of mild steel, the diameter that I think the business end should be. Don't worry, I'll get away from hairy arm vision after this clip. So I did this trial on mild steel twice and it seems like this is going to work. After filing the end to a point and thinning out the legs just a little bit, it seems like it should work pretty well as a Phillips head screwdriver or maybe even as a driver bit. Now on to the bolt. It's a high tensile strength bolt, which I think is medium carbon steel, but I'm not exactly sure of the carbon content. I'm not going to worry about the aesthetics of this so much. I just want to get a functioning screwdriver. And from there, then I can take this in other directions.
I should have just used some of my newer medium carbon 1050 stock for these dies. The die stock that I grabbed, the bottom die specifically, just doesn't seem like it's medium carbon. It's already deformed a little bit right there. be patient here when you file and test as you go and when you figure out then the right angle the right depth then should work just fine Just a small diameter rod is more aesthetically pleasing, but if I do other screwdrivers, I'll draw down more or use some other techniques. With the basic function down, you could really forge custom screwdrivers that I'm sure Craftsman would really treasure. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.